let's say you want reflections. First thing, is select your material and bump up the metallic map and the smoothness. You can see the skybox reflected in the preview and in the cube, but the cube isn't reflecting the sphere. To do this, we need to add a reflection probe. Game Objects Lights Reflection Probe. We want the probe in the middle of the cube, so we child it to the cube and then zero the origin. The probe acts like a 360 degree camera to create an image of everything around it. Therefore, it and the cube need to share the same point of view. The bounding box around the reflection probe determines which objects will be seen. But if we look at the cube, we see the sphere is not reflected. That's because by default, all reflection probes are baked. Select the sphere, click on the drop down next to static, and select Reflection Probe Static. Now select the reflection probe and hit bake. You can see in the preview that the sphere is now in the reflection probe view. Select the material for the cube and crank up the metallic map and the smoothness to get a cleaner reflection. To get rid of the jagged edges, select the reflection probe and then crank up the resolution, then bake it again. We can now see that the cube acts like a mirror. If we try to move the sphere, however, the mirror breaks. To fix this, select the reflection probe and change it from static to real-time. It warns us that we need to have the scripting API call the real-time reflection. To do this, select the reflection probe and add a script. Within the script's update loop, get the component of the reflection probe and call the render probe method. The reflection now works even when the sphere is moved around.